Before we begin today, I'd like to take a moment to thank my patrons for their additional support of this channel. Because of them, I was able to start streaming a little bit sooner than I had anticipated. And with any luck, I'll be able to start improving the video quality uh, coming up. So uh, I just want to take a moment here to say again, thank you very much. And let's go ahead and get started. So today what we're doing is we're doing a combination of Conquest and War Bun World to do something I have never done before, which is build somewhere I have literally never built. Now, where we're going to build today is over here by Eager Tours, Robotics Thing, by the Coast Guard Pier, whatever. Uh, this video is going to be fading and cutting a lot because I had like two and a half hours of raw footage and it just, most of it was just ugh. So uh, we're just going to hit the highlights here. Uh, so the first task, of course, is place the workbench and uh, start scrapping things. Now, if you had tuned into my stream on Tuesday, uh, I had started building this particular thing, which is going to be a Minuteman uh, forward base outpost, fortified town, whatever, you know, call it whatever you like, uh, over a little further southwest of here where there's a couple of cabins. When I had first scouted that place out on another character, they had, there were no spawns. Literally nothing spawned there for like a month. I did the whole rest a day, fast travel out, fast travel back, rest a day, fast travel out. I did it like for a month, like 30 days, and there was nothing, so I'm like, cool. But then when I loaded up this guy, who is the General of the Minutemen, who is uh, a Brotherhood, you know, paladin, and who is in the Institute, it turns out, it, apparently, that double cabin cul-de-sac place is a very, very, very busy spot. Like every single faction will spawn something there every time you go back. So, I mean, even like right now, if you could live, I don't think you can hear the gunfire, but like every time I did this, there was always fighting over there. And the, that particular, so I tried to work around it. You know, after I did the initial build, I tried to work around it a little bit. I tried to work around it a little bit and uh, do other stuff. And um, I, I couldn't get it to work. Uh, the provisioners were weird. It kept refilling the workbench with stuff. I don't know where it was coming from. Uh, twice the cabins themselves came back and I couldn't scrap them. I had to clear the cache to get rid of them. So that area is very problematic for a conquest build and so I had to move. I had to tear it all down and move it over here. So I picked this spot over here across the robotics ground. You can kind of see it there in the background. So uh, this is going to present a couple of challenges for me. One, I've never built here before. Obviously I've never built anywhere like this. Uh, two, I'm building a Minuteman base, which I, you know, never do. I'm, <laughs> I don't have any characters that really ally with the Minutemen. This guy is, but whatever. And then the third biggest obstacle here is that uh, this doesn't have any anchors. This is just literally all flat terrain. There were some, you know, trucks I scrapped. And you can see that shipping container down there that I moved over from on the back of the truck and stuff. But uh, yeah, this is a, a pretty much a blank slate. So we're going to see how this goes. Uh, that's why this, you know, I think that's, that's why this original video took as long as it did. Because I couldn't, I was just trying to, I, I, mean, I knew I wanted to put a fortified, like a fort on top of this hill. Because this is the highest spot in this build zone, this build area. The build area basically goes to the street over by the electrics place. It sort of covers the street over there on the left by the robotics place. And it goes down the hill about halfway to the water on the backside. And there's no spawns here that I can tell. I mean, I looked and I tried with this guy and I did the whole 30 day test. And so I think this may be, this may be doable. Now we're gonna see how this goes. Uh, you can see from the size bar that uh, Conquest apparently has a very large size budget and it starts you at zero, unlike the normal game, which starts you at, you know, 25 to 40% of the size bar because of the stuff that's already there. Uh, the mods I'm using, of course, the mod list is in the description below, but the, the the key here, the key mods are uh, Conquest and Moribund World, and I hope it doesn't get too dark. I tried to brighten it up, but it started to, when I brightened it up too much, it started to wash it out. So this is about the best I can do. So Conquest and Moribund World and uh, Scrap That Settlement and Scrap That Commonwealth. Because Scrap That Commonwealth and Scrap That Settlement work very, very well on, you know, Workbench Anywhere or um, Conquest builds, because you could scrap literally anything here, almost everything. There are some things in this particular area it does not recognize. Some stuff on the west edge, like trees and rocks and stuff. But we're going to see how this goes. So there's this is my quote. My, this is sort of a personal challenge here in that this is outside my comfort zone in multiple ways. Multiple ways this doesn't work for me. But it looks promising. I mean, the, the terrain is sort of, you know, rumply. It's not all flat, flat. 
I mean, I wish there were spots where it were flat, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and do a combination of, you know, building something I've never built with a full mod suite and uh, using, I guess, the sort of dynamic that we had in the local four pack challenge, which is it's gonna, be, it's gonna develop, it's gonna grow as we do this. I'm also probably gonna use this uh, building as my Tuesday stream theme for a while, just so you can see both, you know, the edited stuff like this is and uh, real time building because real time building is much, much slower. Of course, it's not double speeded. I mean, you know, whatever, but uh, you can you can get a better idea of the thought process, I suppose. I, I don't know. It's it's people that watch it on Tuesday seem to enjoy it. I, I don't I don't really know, but we'll, we'll find out. You know, we'll, we'll try it and we'll see how it goes. And if it doesn't, then I'll just, you know, start playing other games or doing other characters or whatever. So I started to build a guard tower, fenced it off a little bit. Uh, it took another 45 minutes to do that stuff because it's just I could not decide what I wanted to do. It's I don't know. It's like having a blank slate is limiting for me because I don't there's no easy thing to say, OK, this needs this. I have to sort of put the things down and then look at that and go, OK, but yeah, you can see how big the wall is, you know, the typical junk fence with the sandbags and the, the little screen for, you know, keep grenades off. So what I want to do here, instead of walling the whole thing off, I wanted to put a building here, you know, the, uh, the command center, I guess you could say, up on the top here and use it as part of the wall, as the back half of this little hill fort. I guess this is a hill fort. I mean, I was thinking about maybe, you know, doing progressively layered levels, you know, put like a ring around this, a, a larger ring around this and put stuff inside that and then put a larger ring around that. Sort of a low a low rent budget Commonwealth Minas Tirith, but, <laughs> but I don't think that's gonna work. Uh, what I'm really concerned about, what I'm really unsure about with this Conquest mod is uh, how it's going to affect the frame rate with that size budget. I don't know. I mean, the outside around here, there's really not a lot of stuff. You know, there's not a lot of uh, visual processing going on there's you know there's just the water and you know the robot place and uh, the robotics park and the electrical hobbyist club you know and the you know the scenery in the background like the overpasses and shit but i mean it's just you know it is what it is and here i am looking 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 this is something you will see a lot of i think in these videos is putting something up walking away from it looking at it saying okay is that what i want is that what i want i i don't know because until I see it in place, it's sometimes hard to tell if that's what I'm actually after. Like here, I wanted to put the building like, kind of like halfway out, right? But then I looked at it, and I'm like, it looks stupid. I don't want to do that. So now I'm just going to stick a balcony over it, have it sticking over the side, and kind of wedge it in there to where it becomes part of the outside wall. Lift it up a little bit so the weeds don't show through, and boom. So here's the nugget, the, the foundation nugget for the command center. And of course, this thing changed shapes and sizes a couple of times. but. I, don't, I think this is going to be a different kind of challenge because I tend to like to build small and dense and, uh, you know, complex. I like to build things that are just, you know, tiny. And this is a very large build area. That's one thing I do wish Conquest had was the ability to tell it, okay, I just don't, I don't want a 10 by 10 or a 3 by 3 cell area. I just want something half this size or, you know, whatever. It would, it, I don't even know if that's even possible. But that would have been a nice little feature to be able to select the size of the build area. Because, I mean, you know, when you get a new build area, the temptation is, okay, I'm going to fill this thing up to the borders. Ooh, look at the size of this thing. But this area is very large. I mean, it is, I don't know, maybe Somerville Place large. It ain't, you know, it's not Starlight large, but it's definitely bigger than County Crossing or Ten Pines or whatever. It's not big sanctuary. Maybe Sunshine Tidings. This might be as big as Sunshine Tidings. Yeah, that's roughly what I'm thinking. I don't know. It's hard to tell distances when I'm on the ground. And here I am thinking, okay, how do I want this building to look? Where do I want it to go? Do I want it to be multi-level, single level? And you can see the two guard posts in the background there with, you know, some junk fences and some holes for turrets. I don't have a provisioner set up here yet. Uh, I don't know if that bug with the, I don't know if that issue with the workbench filling up was due to the provisioner or whether it was due to the mod or whether it was due to, you know, the initial place I picked over there by the cabins. So I'm sort of hesitant to assign one here quite yet. I might just do a hard save and then go set him up and then see what happens. But yeah, Conquest is doing all kinds of weird stuff. Uh, it would go into build mode on its own for no reason. Uh, it would, you know, it abruptly exit. And I'm just like, what is this thing even doing? But I think it might be due to all the, uh, all the game code additional stuff that was present in that 
in those two cabins, which kind of sucks, man, because I really like that place. But, but it had a downside, right? And the downside was that it had anchors for me already. It had a nice little cul-de-sac, a couple of offshoot roads. There was a nice a pond there, a little pool there. Uh, the ridge line was good. So I had a lot of stuff to start with, start from. Of course, the only, re the only thing that differs when I have something to start from when I don't is that when I don't, I am terribly, terribly, terribly indecisive, as you can see here as I struggle to put this house together. So the house goes up, and then now that the house is up, I've got something I'm like, okay, I'm going to wall off the house. I'm going to put some walls up here. The problem with that is this particular structure, this, um, this wall, I mean, the foundation with the guard thing on it is too tall for a regular high junk fence, but it's too short for the doubles. So I tried a couple of junk fences and I tried a different couple of different things and I think, you know what, I'm just going to back this thing up. I'm going to pad the bottom out. I'm going to cover the bottom with a piece of wood or a piece of metal. And this is what I'm doing right here. I'm trying to find a piece of wood that will look good behind a junk wall. Because the junk wall is not going to be able to go high enough, right? But I need something textured behind it, which I think I'm going to, if I use this, no, I'm going to use a wood wall, aren't I? I thought I used a wood wall here. But yeah, you can see it snaps like crazy and it's super dark. I apologize for the darkness. I'm. I don't have a prisoner yet, so I can't clear the weather. <laughs> you know, I just got to do this, do this in the dark or in the mist, in the haze or whatever. At least it didn't rain so much though, because down here it usually rains quite a bit. But there's a little trick you can use if you've got a, uh, a guard post or a build or something that's just a little too tall or a little too short for what you're trying to do. When it's at medium height, you can just texture it by uh, putting a piece of wood behind it like this and then sticking this in front of it. And that will make it, that does tend to make it look pretty decent. I mean, not perfect, but it doesn't have these huge holes in it. You know, that's kind of what I was after, avoiding the holes. There's my trick. Pick it up, make it turn red, drop it, take the rug out. It doesn't settle down, then you take the rug back out. But yeah, but see, that came out pretty good. That's a, that's a pretty good little technique, I think. And then here's the final tour, I guess. Yeah. So here's what two and a half, almost three hours of building, scrapping, scouting, looking, and farting around resulted in but this is a fairly tight and uh, a fairly tight enclosed hilltop fort with good sight lines uh, it's got a pretty good defensive structure here it looks really it looks fairly formidable given that it's built out of you know scrap wood and junk and stuff but uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the back of the hill am I gonna if I'm gonna you know make another courtyard behind here or if I'm just gonna junk wall the back of that house and call it a day but it's only got one entrance and there's a little, you know, dirt path here that goes up into the, into the fort area. But this is, I guess, like a sentry post more than anything else. I mean, it's not really heavily fortified, but it's got, you know, sandbags, barbed wire, and you can get really good sight lines here. I mean, you can really see a long ways and assaulting this thing from the bottom would be, would be horrifying, I think. And I'm gonna do something to fix that triangular gap. I'm gonna put some plywood down, I think. I didn't have the plywood mod installed, so I have to install that and do that. But yeah, you can see the whole road, you can see all the way down to uh, uh, scrap, uh, scrap Palace or whatever. And then, you know, another turret there on the side. And then this will be the bunkhouse and command center. And uh, maybe I'll put a workbench in here. I haven't really decided what to do with this. But again, you can see good cover. You can see downtown. You can see eager tours on the bridge. You can see, you can see from up here. And uh, we're going to see how this thing develops. It's going to be interesting to see what happens with this, because I'm not sure what the hell I'm going to do with this thing. But it has potential. It has a lot of potential. And uh, if you want to tune in on Tuesday to watch the stream, you can watch more of this stuff go up and watch me thrash around trying to figure out what the hell I'm going to do. So, but for now, I'm going to put it right here. And if you like this content, go ahead and click the like button. If you like to see more, go ahead and subscribe. I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.